Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CVB Nerds video series on data structure and this video is about double linked list. It is not very much different than the single linked list but a small difference. So let's see how it looks like. So in single linked list you see that I'll be going in little fast pace because these things are not very much important data structure like uh, double linked list. I mean they are good for studies but you don't use them much right. So this is what your single linked list look like right. So this is your uh, addresses correct and you will have 300 here and 200 here and there will be some head uh, which will store this 100 so this is your head uh, this is how it looks like like so this is a single link list in double link list you will have one more pointer which will actually point to the previous one so this is pointing to this one now this guy will point to its previous one and this guy will point its previous one right so this is how it is going to be and then here you will have null or zero and this is your data portion this is your data portion so one two and three and this is the structure how it will look like when you will create uh, a node so this is your node so we have a data portion which is this one and we have this previous and next so this is your previous and this is your next Hey guys, time for a quick pause and what you are seeing right now is my Patreon page. So if you don't know what is Patreon, it's a crowdfunding website where you can support any content creator like me and in return you get rewards. So if you join me, I can be your private tutor or you just want to chat with me and ask your doubts or maybe you just want to support me with very small amount and I'll still have something for you. So do visit my Patreon page and see if you like it. And if you want to discontinue anytime, you can do that. So if you have already visited my Patreon page, let's continue our video now. So can you see this before you was only allowed to go from here to here and here to here. I mean, you was only doing a forward traversal. Now you will be able to do a backward traversal. If you are at this node and someone says that, okay, go to previous one, you know what is previous because you are storing 200 here and this guy is storing 100 here. Okay. So this is your next and this is your previous, previous and next. So let's look at the nodes. Unlike single link list, double link list can traverse in both forward and backward directions. We saw that and double link list requires one more pointer to point at previous node. So this is the node which points to the previous. So can you see this? Every node of the double link list, this is not a node, okay? This is just a head pointer means the address container, one just one pointer which will be like head and which will store the pointer of your first node, okay? So apart from that, you can see every node having three pointers, sorry, two pointers, three fields. Okay. Now advantages are doubly linked list can traverse in both the direction. This is the main advantage, the direction part. You can come back and go forward, but in single linked list, until unless you're using XOR or addition linked list and subtraction, yeah, they are the type of the linked list link list so until unless you are using these three link list which will be a single link list actually but can move forward and backward so if you want to see how to move forward and by backward in single link list go ahead and watch my these videos i mean i have given this video only but you will be able to understand this one and this one with the help of this xor only so let's move to this disadvantage it is more complicated than singly link list exactly because you have to maintain two pointers here before you was just maintaining the previous one i mean sorry next one now you have to maintain the previous one also right so if you are adding in between like uh, let's suppose you are adding one node here in between these two then you have to make this one point this guy and then this guy point this guy this one pointing this one and this guy pointing this one so there are two more operations we are doing here okay so this one and this one because we are pointing here and this and sorry this one is pointing this one so previous operations are extra so this is a little complicated than single link list and it takes more space than single link list exactly because if you look at a node here one node having three information two is for 
pointers and one is for data okay look at this structure this is having three informations right and in single link list we had only data and the next this previous was not there in a single link list so your size of your data according to this one would be eight this is your address so eight plus and this is your data type so this will be four but due to padding it will take another four so the data type would be total 16 for singly link list okay in case of doubly link list you will have eight plus yeah eight plus four and padding four so total 24 so in case of this doubly link list we have one node of 24 bytes in case of singly link list it was only 16 bytes so the more your list node or the bigger the list the more the data you will consume but no one is full right i mean no one will implement doubly link list if they want single link list right so it's 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 a waste of energy and effort so we are done with this theory part let's move at the programming and we'll understand how to write the program for this so if you look at this program i'll be only showing you how to push at the beginning so if this is a node for you in single link list this is for previous and this is for next and this is for data right so let's try to understand this node pointer head you know already the data structure how this node look like we have data and previous and next pointer inside this right so we'll create a head pointer we'll send the address of that pointer so address of this head is going not this head okay so address of this head is going to this one so that's why we are taking it into the double pointer because we are sending one single pointer here so we should take that into double pointer so i know uh, you know all these stuff and if you'll google you'll get this code okay so don't worry about that so let's assume we are first time pushing this first i mean one so the empty head have come here and with the data new data so we'll create a temporary node here new node and create a memory for that we'll assign the data inside that node and that new nodes next should be your heads reference pointer means whatever the head reference is pointing to so for now it is pointing at null so the new nodes next will be null so let's assume that you have this new node and the next would be null so for null i will write n okay so this is done now let's go to the new node previous is equal to null so we will always make previous one as null because we are going to insert the node at the beginning of the link list so the previous of that would be always null now this much is done and yeah data is also done so data has come here so this is how it would look like once you are done with this much line now let's go ahead and do this lines the comment says make newly created node as a head node because we are inserting node at the beginning of the list so we have to make that node as the head node so that next time if someone pushes data will be pushing the previous position okay so let's see how we'll do that head reference not equal to null but in our case it is actually null so we will not go inside this loop i mean this condition will just make head ref which is currently null is equal to new node so what we are doing is we are just simply making let's suppose the address of this guy is 100 we are making this 100 okay which is pointing to this guy now so this much is done once we are completing this line and so let's insert this seven now so this time head refs address so this is your head ref and the address of this guy maybe let's call this zero cross zero zero for simplicity we'll be making this as zero 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 is actually going and reaching here as double pointer as usual we will be creating our new node with seven so assume that we have created a new node i have to write it very small here this is seven now new nodes next which is this portion is equal to head refs pointer so zero cross zero zero if you will use indirection here it means it will actually point to this hundred so we are making here hundred which is nothing but this is pointing to this one now okay and then nodes next previous which is this one is null correct so this much is done once we are here now if head refs is not equal to null now actually this is not equal to null so what we'll do we'll make head refs previous is equal to new node 
so don't forget head refs which is this one previous is this one so now we are going to change this one and assign new node means let's suppose this is 200 so 200 will come here this n will go and this 200 will come here so can you see this this is now pointing this one so this is the behavior we want to achieve this guy pointing this one and this guy pointing this one this is what the important point is okay so once you have done that just create or make this newly created node as head node this is what it is doing okay so now this time this 200 will go here and similarly it will do for this and at last we are printing this and let me show you how it looks like so we have compiled it and let's execute this so can you see this we are traversing in both the ways 8 7 and 1 this is how we inserted it so whatever was inserted last it will be be treated as the first one because we are inserting in the beginning of the list right and if you will traverse in reverse direction you will be like one seven and eight let's see how we are traversing here it's very simple you don't have to put extra effort till node is not equal to null we will go ahead and keep the track of your last node okay so that you can start going previous so you will start traversing forward direction by going into the next of your node and in previous direction by going to the previous pointers so this is how it will be and wait a minute don't go anywhere i have this for you that what is the usage of this one so this is the bonus topic if you are watching this video till end you will get to know about all these things okay so do consider watching my videos till uh, till the end and you will be having some extra knowledge so usage is any application where you want to traverse both the side so whatever applications comes in your mind maybe it is, it's a rocket i don't know if it goes forward and backward then you can implement doubly linked list so for for some example a music player which has next and previous button wow this is a good example the browser cache i like this example very much browser cache which allows you to hit back and forward pages there you can use this doubly linked list okay third one is undo and redo functionality correct here you will use doubly linked list so whatever application you think if it requires you to go forward and backward i mean you can use doubly linked list now let's look at the time complexity here so the operations are like insert at the beginning or the end it will take order of one and one in both worst and average case and similarly for deleting at the beginning and the end it will take one and one and search will take order of n obviously because we don't know where the element would be so we have to actually traverse the whole list to get our number or access access also would take order of n because you, you don't have the array facility where you can directly access the node you have to hop and each and every time and reach to the number or or node wherever you want to reach and access it so you have to go hop by hop so that's why the complexity becomes order of n so i would like to sum this video now and next video is about a circular doubly linked list or doubly circular link list whatever you call it so don't forget to hit the like button guys and subscribe to my channel if you are new to this channel i'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care